Hello everybody, Dokkan Assets here. Today we are back with a, another Dragon Ball figure unboxing video and I am so very excited because today we get to crack into the first figure in the Back to the Film Ichiban Kuji, technically Ichiban Show because this is the overseas version. And of course that being the biggest, baddest boy himself, Final Form Cooler. Obviously, this has been a super highly anticipated set, and not to mention a super highly anticipated figure. Obviously, not only do we not get Final Form Cooler figures too often, though funny enough, in the last few years, we've actually gotten a couple, including this one, which some of them may uh, make a cameo today. You'll probably see that at some point. But, um, obviously, with this being a Masterlize Extra figure, as you can see right there, that means he's going to be a big boy all the master Lies extra figures in the usual ichiban kuji set are big boys there's the sticker of authenticity and obviously um this is probably the second most anticipated figure i would say just behind the bad boy broly himself which we will eventually be taking a look at. Obviously, I still need to get my man in the mail, um, but boy, am I excited for that. So it'll be cool to see how big uh, Cooler actually is stacked up next to him because I have seen some pictures of the Back to the Film Broly um, already on my timeline. Thank you. Um, one person on Twitter actually sent me some pictures of their copy of the figure, which was very cool. All right, so let's go ahead and hop in. Uh, the Ichiban Kuji figures always do this. It's kind of annoying. They put tape right there. Uh, so you have to like cut this real quick, which I mean, like I understand why, because then um, I'm sure it prevents people from stealing it, but it's just kind of annoying because then it's like, okay, now I have to like play Jenga or, you know, some other better analogy than that to figure out how the box works. Uh, let me see. So this should just push through here is there more tape somewhere is that what i'm missing no there she is okay so we just had to pull that out by the way now you can see why i didn't have the light on um when we were opening the box because that would have been way 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 too bright for you to see anything on the box okay let's get this uh apart oh i remember what this is you have to separate the little tab there that comes out from under there and now we should be Gucci. All right, so let's pour the boy out. Oh my gosh, he came out. <laughs> that is heavy if it came out that quickly. <laughs> oh my gosh, that thing came rocketing out. Okay, so wow. Here he is in the clamshell. What a wobbly boy. Oh my gosh. Let's go ahead and pop him out. Oh my gosh. Did you see that boy shoot out? That practically shook the whole dang house. All right, let's go ahead... Uh, let me turn the camera down a little bit here so you can actually see me cutting, slicing it up. Hopefully, yeah, don't hit the boy, obviously. Thankfully, he is in plastic, so I think even if we accidentally uh, smacked him up, we would still be chilling. All right, let's go ahead and get his body out. Oh my gosh, this looks fantastic. Oh, okay, so this, it just kind of is attached. Interesting. All right, so let's put his body to the side for now. It looks great, by the way. We'll take a look at it in a second. Um, let's see what other goodies we have in here, ladies and gentlemen. So obviously we have uh, the head. I guess we can... Is this like in an open bag or is this... No, okay. That head is very spiky. Oh my gosh. Um, I guess let's just open it from the top. Might as well, right? Isn't that kind of what the bag is made for? For you to open it from the top? Let's go ahead and take a look at the head sculpt close up um as we're going through this bad boy here oh man that is nice the one thing i do wish about this figure and this is the one thing that i'll say before i start gawking because this is amazing i have to say the sculpt work um on this is incredible hello hi hi bag nice to meet you <laughs> He's getting so excited that he's finally open. I love the blue, and I love that the paint that they went with, usually for cooler things and for Frieza with, like, their little bulbs. I don't really know what you call those. They go for, like, a clear sort of plastic or, like, a clear acrylic. And while I do like that, I think this is also a very nice look. The only thing I do kind of wish was that his eyes were a little bit more pronounced because, like, here, right, they're very, like, hmm. <laughs> he's giving you that stare which i guess maybe is appropriate for cooler but other than that i think this face sculpt is fantastic i love the small detail i don't know if the camera can pick it up it's having kind of a hard time getting it there we go look at all the small scratching 
and whatnot there in the sculpt to kind of show you that this is more like skin, right? And it's very textured. And all the shading that's here is actually painted onto the figure. That shading is not me doing any editing magic or nothing like that. Okay, so this, is this on the back? Where is the, okay, here, so let's, let's take this off because I assume this is the stand, right? blatant jojo reference right there oh that's slimy oh i hate slimy stands but there it is just the clear stand that's obviously just going to go on his foot props to them for making it clear though um because obviously you know clear stands are always the way to go because they look just the best obviously it's so weird when you just have a character with this big you know like black grotesque chunk sticking out of their body it just looks really weird let's go ahead and i guess uh since we're just going to flip this over I guess I'll just put the plastic back in here. I didn't expect it to be so neat. Usually uh, with figures like this, they're not as neat in their packaging, but this is honestly pretty decent. All right, let's just whoop, flip that bad boy over and then we will get the tail out, which is just attached by tape, I think. Let me see. Although the text does go up here. Maybe this will be an easier spot to pull it off from. Yeah, there we go, okay. We'll actually just leave this here. I don't know if the other side is already open. No, it doesn't feel like it. Okay, so you actually do have to rip open one side of this. I was gonna say, that would be kind of okay if they just left one side open and then, you know, was just technically taped closed. All right, let me pull the tail aside here. Let me fold this back and uh, are we, is the tape basically no more? Is that what I'm... Where, where did the tape go? All right, well, the tape disappeared, so I guess we're just going to leave it untaped, which is fine, because it's just going to go back in the box anyway. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the tail here. Um, the camera is having a hard time focusing on this, because it is just a giant purple blob. Um, this does look very, very nice, though. There's a lot of nice texturing. I think you can kind of see it. Um, there's a connection point. Does that come apart? No, okay, it doesn't. Uh, let's look at the spike on the end of the tail. That also looks very nice. You can see some detail there. I like the way that they sort of make this feel like that it's actually a part of him because obviously this is more like um, skin or like flesh kind of scrunching up is what they're sort of trying to emulate here. I do like that a lot. The one thing I do find kind of weird is that this is a little bit darker at the end of the tail. You can kind of see that. It almost looks a little purplish unless my eyes are just playing tricks on me here. Let's go ahead and put our bad boy together though. Bada boom! <laughs> there is the body. And I have to say, wow. That looks incredible. That looks very cool, I might say. <laughs> Let's actually give you a better body shot here, though. Um, because obviously, this sculpt is really, really crispy, I have to say. Love the way that they did the shoulder pieces. I always love when they capture this like weird gap between cooler shoulders. And I really, really like that. Um, the spikes on the back look mint as well. They look super perfect. I love all of the shading throughout the sculpt as well. And again, they're doing this where they're painting these blue rather than having them be acrylic. And it sort of simulates that like clear effect. I like that a lot. Obviously, a lot of nice scratching all over the body. Again, the legs also look like a lot of muscle, right? A lot of flesh sort of being there. And the feet as well, I will say, are quite wide than I usually see cooler's feet depicted they're a lot more like webbed feet rather than the sort of like almost like talons that are kind of fleshy um, that you usually seem depicted with however not only do i not really mind this and also by the way the leg pieces look great too not only do i not really mind the look but it also gives him a lot more stabilization here uh, because he is not rocking as much for sure with that extra surface area on his feet so I'm definitely not opposed to that being a feature on this figure. Speaking of which, actually, let's go ahead and put his head on, and then we'll put the stand on. So this should just slide on. Let's get the money shot. Ma -ma -ma -ma. Money shot! Okay, and there he is. Nice! That looks great! Wow! That looks really sick. He definitely has a presence oh man that is so cool the camera is shaking in its boots because of how powerful my man is let's go ahead and get in a little bit closer here that looks great on the actual figure 
that is nice now i think you kind of see what i mean about the red um being a little bit less visible right like you really can't see the red too well for his eyes and especially if you're looking at this from the angle that i am which i'll move the camera a little bit right look at you can barely see it when you're looking at it like that right it's just kind of the big crest on his head that's really my only complaint and maybe that's not necessarily that the red of his eyes is too thin but maybe that's more that they made the crest a little bit too big for him i'm kind of thinking that that's actually what happened here all right, let's pan back down before we pan back up to the tail. We're going to attach the leg piece, which I actually have no idea if this goes on. Ooh, I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna make him fall over. I'll catch him though. Uh, like this, maybe? I'm not exactly sure how this fits because um, it doesn't look like it goes around his like web feet. Which way would this be? Let me see. It's shaped like this, and his leg is thicker here? Yep, oh, no, that's going in. Okay, let's, if carefully now. Yeah, that definitely forms to right there, okay. Oh, I didn't even notice that the, the bottoms of his feet were black. I guess it doesn't really matter, because obviously you're not gonna be looking at the bottom of his feet, but it is kind of interesting that they didn't sculpt that. Okay, that snapped in very, very nicely. You might've even heard that sound. And he is very stable like that, okay. He is like a tiny bit wobbly, but that is definitely very, very good. Okay, pan back up, and we are going to actually stay here at the middle because, pow, we are going to give our man his tail, which is very chonky. This is a very big tail, I have to say, which I'm definitely not opposed to them making it pretty big, but, like, this is definitely a chonker. All right, so let's go ahead and slide that in. Obviously, as you can see, it does have the groove in there to sort of show you where it's supposed to go. But even so, it is still kind of difficult to get in there. Okay. That feels like it's possibly right. Yeah, okay. All right, hold on. Let me pull that out because you literally didn't see that. It got off camera. So you should just be able to sort of line it up and then push it in. I had it one time. Okay. There we go. Oh, my gosh. That was so difficult. Sorry, that took me a minute to actually get that bad boy in there. You can kind of press it in there to get the little crease out. But, oh man, that took a lot of force. If you get this figure, just be careful <laughs> that you don't accidentally let him go and let him start flying everywhere because, wow, that took a lot of pressure to get in. If you kind of turn it a little bit and then feel for the groove and then start pushing in, that would be my suggestion for getting that in there. I'm sorry if you couldn't see that. I definitely can't do that again. There's no way. <laughs> but with that, our bad boy is now complete. So let's get a nice pan up shot. And oh man, that is a good looking figure if I have ever seen one. Look at that boy. Oh! Now there is a reason why I am bringing the camera back so far for our size comparison. And that is because Cooler absolutely towers over our two usual contenders. That, of course, being the Ichiban Kuji Gotenks and the Dokkan Battle WCF Blue Goku. This guy is a giant. I would say that this guy easily contends with the Grand Easta line. And truth be told, if I really had to say, this guy would probably be your best equivalent to like a Grand Easta Cooler. He fits the bill quite perfectly. Giving him a height of, I would say that is about just under 13 and a half. Let me actually pull in close for you so you can see that there. I would say that that is just about maybe closer actually to 13 and a quarter. I know on camera it kind of looks more like 13. Yeah, I'll say actually 13 and a quarter, I think, is just about the height. Yeah, that definitely looks to be it. Regardless, though, a large lad, to say the least. This guy is definitely a very, very big figure, as you can see. He is going to be quite the one to display on the shelf. Obviously, he could be a centerpiece all on his own. However, I did want to compare him to some other figures. Now, I will show you a couple of different coolers that I have, but 
This guy won't be here for long, but I just wanted to give you a size comparison. The only other Master Lies Extra figure that I have on hand is, of course, the Master Lies Extra Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku. And this kind of gives you an example of the size for the Master Lies Extra line, because obviously, well, not line, I guess more like, um, connotation of a figure denotation you know what i'm trying to say right the label that the figure has for its size obviously master lies extra is always bigger than the regular master lies line master lease as some people call it again uh since i've never heard any official source technically say it out loud i still don't know what it's technically supposed to be but i've always called it master lies Maybe it is Mash Release in the comments. You can tell me in the comment section below if there's a correct way to say it um, from some official Japanese source. But regardless, these bad boys do look really cool together, even though they're obviously not uh, intended to be like part of the same figure set or line or anything like that. But of just, of course, they're big, both Ichiban Kuji figures, right? They're big, they're bold, and they are certainly standing there looking very menacing, if I do say so myself. Let's go ahead and get Goku off the stage. My man cannot hold on to a stand, I swear. All right, so to give you two figures at once here, I know that this is a little bit odd because one of these is one that I have reviewed and another one is one that I have not reviewed, but I'm going to do your side-by-side -side of the Figuarts Zero Final Form Cooler and the SH Figuarts Final Form Cooler. Yes, that's right. We have the whole Cooler gang coming out to play. All of Cooler and his brothers? Question <laughs> mark. All of these guys look absolutely incredible together. Obviously, they are both all sort of going for different things. The SH Figure Arts one is, of course, your posable figure. The Figure 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 almost said Figure Rise, not correct. Figure Arts Zero cooler right obviously he's going for the effects and the immaculate sculpting while we have the ichiban kuji boy standing tall and proud with also some fantastic sculpting and this is a great example of what i was talking about by the way where they sort of use those clear acrylic bits to sort of symbolize those i'm not really sure what you would call them like the bulbs on the frieza's family skin right but obviously with the Ichiban Kuji version, it's just sort of painted on with this shiny paint. And I don't necessarily think that one is worse or better than the other. They're just definitely different ways to do it. I think I do prefer the clear acrylic way, but I know for some people it may feel a little bit cheesy. And I think with the lighting, honestly, depending on how you have it for our bad boy Ichiban Kuji cooler, it kind of almost gives it the effect of being that clear sort of material when it's actually not. But I gotta say, the sculpting on all these guys is great. This is what I was kind of talking about this year. We have gotten plenty of Final Form Cooler love, which I am definitely all for because not only do I love the look of this character design, but obviously this design makes for a fantastic figure. The alien, very spiky, very, you know, sort of armored up look of Final Form Cooler is great for various different figure designs. I am quite the fan, if I do say so myself. But that is going to do it for today's figure unboxing video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. This is also the first video on this channel that is not being uploaded on the other channel. I figured I'd start off with a bang, of course, being our boy Final Form Cooler because this figure has been pretty highly anticipated. I know I've also been very excited for him as well. And if you would like to pick him up yourself, there'll be a link in the description to do so. If he is available on Amazon for a good price, you can pick him up from my affiliate link in the description below, which basically means that if you click on it and buy it through there, I will get a little cut with no extra cost to you, which is awesome. But please don't buy it from Amazon if some other third-party seller is selling it for like more than 35, 40 bucks. Don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> I don't want you to get scammed. Listen, I like, I like chasing the bag, but I don't want to scam my audience. <laughs>
<laughs> Anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you would like to continue supporting me on my figure collecting and reviewing endeavors, you can do so on the old Patreon. The Patreon account is now exclusively going to be for figure unboxing content. So if you want to, I was going to say explore. I mean, I guess that kind of works. If you want to support this specific type of content with me here, um, you can do so over on the Patreon, whereas my Ko-Fi is going to be, or coffee. I mean, technically the meme is Ko-Fi, but I always say Ko-Fi, I don't know why. I'm going to be using for my regular Dokkan Asset stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Keep an eye out for the upcoming weeks. I am planning on uploading weekly on this channel. Now I really want to get good about doing that during the new year to make this channel grow nice and big and strong with some big old bones, just like our boy Cooler has. And we will be seeing more of the Back to the Future. Back to the Future. Sorry, I'm thinking about that movie. I've been thinking about that movie a lot. Let me get back on track, though. Back to the film. <laughs> I mean, that is a film, so maybe that counts. Ichiban Kuji set will be coming up uh, throughout this month. Is basically just as I get the figures in the mail. So keep an eye out for that. But otherwise, I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Dokkan Assets out. Peace.